So, so today I'm going to make a small tutorial. You may know me as Phoenix. If you have any questions, just comment or PM me. If you have, if you know where to find me, today's topic is how to take an error gate without being yelled at or being helpful towards the team. So let's start off by capturing an enemy error gate. First of all, you gotta stand on the error gate. When you stand on the error gate, you make the bar move. And while you're on the arrow gate, you have to make sure that no other enemies are coming, or else you're going to get slaughtered. Neutral arrow gate, like this one, you got to help stand on it to make the bar move faster if there's other people along. Now, moving along, remember, you can only have a max of three people on an arrow gate. Four or more will not make a difference, no matter how many people you have. So if you see three people, just keep moving. Okay, for example, here's an enemy trying to compete with me for an arrow gate. If it's one versus one, try to take him out without going off the arrow gate. You will only use skills to finish him off or before you die. The reason you do this is first you can kill him or you can survive longer. If you die in the process of taking a gate, good job. Now you have, have taken the gate and everybody can spawn in it, so regardless if you died or not, outnumber the enemy eventually. Now for attacking an enemy arrow gate, you have to at least to try to st stand on an arrow gate as long as possible to at least neutralize the arrow gate. This will help your team dramatically. You don't always have to capture the arrow gate. This doesn't mean you have to just stand there and get pulverized by swords, shotguns, or whatever. You will not fight enemies outside of the arrow gate, which means you can be on top of it or jumping on top of it. Jumping like a bunny hopper, who cares? So first, you will jump around like a fag and assaulting the enemy at the back at the same time. Once it's actually neutralized, there should be no more enemy spawners and this should make keeping much much easier. Just stand on the arrow gate when possible and if you die trying, at least you got the arrow gate, right? When you're actually attacking the enemy arrow gate, make sure you n almost never use your skill unless you are about to die. Unless you know your enemy will die, you know you can't take the arrow gate alone or whoever you're with. That completes my first tutorial ever made by the Phoenix.